get a custom suit, it will cost an additional amount, but it will fit you perfectly. The nice thing about a perfect fitting custom suit is it will account for things like how you wear your hair, or maybe if you have different size body parts, one arm's bigger than the other, one leg's bigger than the other, one arm's longer than the other, etc. So it will fit you absolutely perfectly. Zoe, you just got a uh, Best Dive uh, nylon reversible suit, right? I did, yes. Yeah, I got a custom Best Dive reversible suit. Um, and I've been diving with it in Kona. It's a three mil suit and it's been perfect in Kona. Um, actually, when I did my um, certification with Kona Freedivers, my big problem was getting cold. I was wearing a suit that I didn't realize fit so poorly. And then, yeah, got fitted for a costume suit, been diving great out here. And then I actually went to California recently in November and dove off Catalina in this three mil suit. And it kept me so warm, really? uh, very warm. And there were scuba divers wearing dry suits just a few <laughs> meters to the left of us. But I was cruising around in my custom three mil, very warm, very happy. So definitely worth it. And That's I'm awesome. six feet too, so yes. it's great to have that availability. Do you know Wonder Woman? Yes. Do you have her on speed dial? Um, yeah, we kind of tend to talk over like Morse code and stuff. We're like super incognito. Oh, we yeah. all stick together. You know, we don't want the outside world infiltrating us. <laughs> yeah, and I've had similar experiences with wetsuits, custom suits that fit really nicely. I've taken them to California and I haven't gotten cold. So um, this is not a one-off thing. It's very common for a good fitting suit to keep you much warmer than you would expect. So, let's get measuring. So first measurement is your height. How tall are you? Or in some cases, short. <laughs> Very nearly six feet. So like 5'11 and I want to say like 5'8. Yes, she's basically an Amazon. All right, uh, weight. What is your weight? That's number two is your weight. Number three measurement is your head circumference. Take the tape and put it straight around just above your brow and come to the back of the person's head. And for Zoe, we're getting 23 inches because it's got a Hauser massive brain. But we do need to take into account if you're a woman, yeah. your hair and how you're going to wear your hair. So Zoe wears her hair in a very particular way. So let's take that into account when we take this measurement. So I wear my hair in a low bun so that my mask can fit really well uh, over the hood as well. Some people I know wear it in a high bun, uh, but for me, then if the bun moves, then your mask is gonna get pushed down. So I always pretty much wear it here. And then that will give me room for my bun in my custom suit. Four is going to be curved neck length. So we want to go from where the suit is going to begin on the person's chin. So it'll be usually right about here, just below the lips. And then it will go down along their neck. And you're gonna follow the contour of the person's neck. And try not to um, poke them in the neck while you're measuring. And you go down to this bone here. So there's this bone um, right here where your chest kind of ends and there's a divot and you measure to that. So for number four, the curved neck length, you're going to want to measure from the person's forehead, just above where the mask skirt's going to be, all the way back over their hair to what they call the cervical, which is also basically there's a large bone here and a smaller bone, and it's in between those two bones that you're going to want to measure to. And you're really going to need to feel for that spot. So we start here on the forehead, just to where the mask uh, skirt kind of terminates. And you can adjust this based on your preference. And then you're going to want to go down along the head and eat over the bun to that cervical, which is right about here on Zoe. And then we're going to take that point there. You can measure down to half a centimeter is going to be close enough to get these measurements. Keep in mind that the suits do uh, have some stretch in them. Number six is neck circumference. And that one is just going to be a simple measurement around the person's neck. Some people are very particular about that. Remember with women, you're gonna to wanna to have your hair down if it is gonna be down that low. Um, you're gonna to wanna to have that incorporated into this measurement. So for women that wear uh, plates or braids, you're gonna to wanna to have your hair braided or at least down around uh, your neck area if that's how you like to wear it. So then you just kinda of take it around the middle of the neck. This isn't as cr crucial of a measurement as most of the other measurements, mostly because 
Um, the neck is going to tend to be a little bit looser on this suit. That way it gives you more freedom of movement for moving your head. But if you are very particular about the um, diameter and the, the tightness of your neck, you can measure that a little bit loose. Or if you like a nice, tight, snug-fitting neck, you can maybe you know add a little bit or subtract a little bit from the uh, measurement. Chest circumference number seven is when we measure um, basically just above the nipples or the breasts, depending on whether it's a man or a woman. Uh, we want to measure up above that, and you want to have your arms down for this measurement. And then we just simply measure that. And then for women, you're going to have additional measurements. So you're going to have one measurement over the nipples to account for the boobs. What's the correct technical term? Breasts? Boobs? <laughs> I like boobs. Yeah, so you got to account for the boobs. So we're going to go um, above, over nipples, and then we're going to do one more, measurement 7C and that accounts for the female's chest height. So basically what you're going to do here is you're gonna to go to the nipple itself and then, you wanna hold that for me, Zoe? Okay, and then you're gonna to go to um, directly above it. So it will be essentially in line and you go straight up to uh, the center of the woman's um, shoulder. So uh, it'll be like just where the shoulder kind of apexes. And so it's this dimension here, it's this length between the apex of the shoulder and where your nipple is. So the waist circumference, and that's basically um, right here around the narrowest part of your waist. And feel free to take a number of measurements just to make sure you're actually getting the absolute narrowest point. Um, on women, uh, it's gonna be especially noticeable. On men, maybe not so much, especially if you've had a few beers like me. So for number nine, we're gonna do the hip circumference. We've already taken this measurement before if you've done the stock measurement, if you've watched that video. If not, you just find the widest place around the, uh, your hips. And it's not really where your hip bones are, it's actually much lower, where uh, usually it's around buttocks, kind of lower, especially on women, it's typically lower. And feel free to take a, a few measurements just to ensure that you're actually getting the widest part around uh, your hips, because this is a really important measurement. Number 10, we're going to measure the armhole circumference. So this is where the uh, sleeve, the, the arm actually turns into the chest of the suit. So for this one, you're going to have the subject put their arm at a 45 degree angle. And then you're going to take the measuring tape and go around the actual where the hole in the suit will be for the arm. And it's typically you're going kind of straight up and down there. And you're coming to meet um, at a point here and that is the armhole. Number 11, bicep circumference. We want to take a measurement from about five centimeters below where the armpit is. Uh, go ahead and relax your arm. And please don't flex because I don't want you breaking my tape. <laughs> For number 12, we're going to do the above the elbow circumference, which is pretty easy. It's just right below the bicep and literally right above the person's elbow. So as you can see here, if you turn your arm, it's just right above the person's elbow. And some people will have the same measurement there as they'll have on the elbow. So that's the next measurement is at the elbow. And you just want to make sure that the um, person being measured has a nice relaxed uh, arm. They're not flexing their muscles or anything like that because it will affect the measurement a little bit. So then for number 14, we have the uh, maximum circumference at the forearm. So here you just kind of kind of poke around and look for the widest point. It's got to be below the elbow but it's not necessarily really far down towards their wrist, typically. But this will vary a little bit. Um, mostly you just want to kind of go a little bit below the elbow and kind of find that widest point. <clears throat> For number 15, we're going to go with the wrist circumference. Wrist is pretty easy to do. It's going to be usually in front of, there's going to be a wrist bone. The wrist bone is um, right here on your, um, on your arm. And so you're going to go just in front of that wrist bone and take the measurement. Now, if you want a um, nice snug wrist, you can kind of snug it down a little more. If you want it loose, you can add another half a centimeter or a quarter inch to the measurement if you want to make it easier to put the suit on. Also, keep in mind, if you want a, a wrist uh, that is slightly short so you can fit like a uh, watch or a computer that monitors your heart rate, you want to measure it a little higher and you also want to make the sleeve shorter. For number 16, for the thigh circumference, you're going to want to take about seven to eight centimeters below the crotch um, where your leg kind of terminates there. 
at your crotch. So you're gonna wanna uh, rest your leg down, Zoe. So yeah, it'll typically be right about here. Um, and that's pretty standard for a thigh circumference. We're halfway through, guys. So number 17, uh, we're gonna do the above the knee circumference. The above the knee circumference is pretty easy. It's just directly above the knee. Find the kneecap and just measure straight above that. Pretty straightforward. Then number 18, you're gonna do the un on the knee circumference, which I like to go kind of right over the widest point of their knee bone here. So on Zoe, it'll be probably in this area right here. You can take multiple measurements if you like. The below the knee circumference, which is number 19, is gonna be right here. And it'll just be right below, kind of where the, the kneecap terminates down here, a little bit lower. Kind of try to find that narrowest point there. For calf circumference, you're gonna to wanna to find the widest point of the person's calf. So you may need to take a few measurements just to ensure that you have found the actual widest point. People's calves will vary in width. For the ankle circumference, you're gonna to wanna to take the measurement from just above the bones. So the ankle bone is here and you wanna measure just above. Keep in mind, if you wanna make this suit easier to put on, then you wanna add a little bit to this dimension. So for number 22, we're going to go from what's called the end of the clavicle. It's kind of this bone, uh, this point where you have this clavicle bone on your chest here, where it terminates there at the very end, it starts turning into your shoulder. And so you want to go kind of from that point there over the person's um, vertebra here on their neck back down to the other side and it should be about equidistant on either side. So this measuring tape should kind of be up here and these two should terminate right here at the end. So where we finish measuring at the end of 22, we want to pick that up and use it in the measurement of number 23 where we go from the end of that um, clavicle um, measurement down to the person's wrist. So number 23, we have from the end of the uh, cervical here, they call it, um, all the way down through your clavicle bone here, down to the person's wrist bone. So it's like a tailor measurement and it goes uh, where you want your suit wrist to terminate. So it goes like this, guys. Okay. So for number 25, we have from the armpit to the wrist bone. You really want to get the uh, measuring tape up into your armpit as far as you can, and you want to kind of put your arm down like this. Make sure you take a shower before measuring. For the forearm length, which is number 26, we want to go from, yeah, if they bend their elbow a little bit like Zoe just did, then you'll find kind of the point of their, um, their elbow there, and so you can go from that elbow point down to their wrist. So the neck and the waist, um, so you wanna find that spot there on the neck, it's called the cervical, and you wanna to go to the narrowest part on their waist. So for Zoe, we measured her, and you can re-measure if you wanna just find that narrowest part and even make a mark with like a Sharpie or something if you don't mind that, and then just go back down to that spot. So for number 28, we're going to be doing Measurement from the cervical to the ankle. So it'll be from up here. If you want to turn this way for me, Zoe. Stand forward a little bit. From here all the way down to the person's ankle. So we want to take this one to the inside of the person's ankle. So it's going to go right down to here, just to the ankle bone. Okay, for number 29 measurement, we want to go from the knee to the ankle. So we actually wanna take this uh, kind of on the inside here. Um, it'll kind of go from here down to right above that ankle bone there. Same place you took the measurement for the ankle bone. It can be difficult to measure up inside your crotchal region. So what we need to do is look through the crotch at, to the highest point and then we trace a line to the side of the leg and we measure from that point to just above the ankle bone. So for number 31, total body length, front and back, you want to take the tape and you go like this, and try not to pull too hard, of course. You wanna get from the cervical back here, where you feel that, that bone there. So you measure to right here, 
to this uh, bone where it terminates at the top of your chest. Push here to subscribe. You know you want to. Do it.